family. It's Ascended Twin, 144K. I'm here to do a general collective energy read, and it seems to be for the divine feminine, male or female. So this can be past, present, or future energies. The energies can be reversed. The roles can be reversed. This could be you or your person, you versus them, same-sex relationships, as well as divine counterparts. Family, all of the readings on all three channels are timeless. If you're curious about my um, three channels that I operate, go to my about portion of my YouTube channel and look up and you'll see all of the information there. Also, um, you can find my information if you're interested in doing a private reading there as well. Any donations that you would like to give to the channel, um, my cash app is available as well. Family, um, anytime you were guided, to my channel you clicked on a video it was time for you to receive the messages if for whatever reason the messages don't resonate for you come back at a later date maybe i'll have something that will if they don't resonate for you still and you know somebody that it does send them here so they can get the messages thank you to each and every last one of you who has subscribed to the channel old and new thank you so much fam god bless you and thank you for sharing this journey with me i hope and pray everybody is doing well fam y'all taking care of yourselves you're doing what's necessary to move you forward in 2021 because this shit is getting thick it's coming to a climax because there is an ending family there's an ending coffin card here from the kipper deck of a karmic relationship from the island time uh island wellness uh oracle deck of something that has been imbalanced where somebody was in something that was fleeting or it was supposed to be triggers turmoil there was a lot of resentment there. Somebody had to learn a lot of lessons. They could still be learning lessons of letting go and learning to love themselves. This person could be of two minds. And it could be a king of pentacles that wants to come in and offer you a cup of love. Because I'm seeing what's down at the bottom of the deck. They could be of two minds of wanting to come in and give you this um, offer of love. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that wants to rush in. But they have a choice to make, fam. My card's over here talking. Yeah, and this is a divine soulmate to you. Some of you, y'all have gone the distance for this relationship, divine feminine. All right, let's go ahead and get this reading started. Some of y'all are going to retreat with this person, and y'all could go and sneak away and have a honeymoon. Or, you know, like, uh, what do they call it when you run to Vegas and go get married? Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for the divine feminine collective, male or female? Spiritual occupation. 34 becomes 7. Some of y'all are doing something you love. And it could be working in the community, volunteering. Or there could be somebody in the community that is a third party. And they are jealous of all your toil and labor. 38 becomes 11. Be very careful about what you manifest. Some of you could be seeing 1111 or 777. But there's a big change. Some of you just saw 555 tower moments. Tower moments bring in change. Somebody here could be going through a move, a change of address, location, because they were dealing with a false person. Let's get on it, spirit. Yeah, and this was not a part of their damn pathway, although it was. This is a part of somebody's spiritual lessons. So this could have been a male or a female here that could have been wearing a false mask, a false self mask. They have gone through many transformations, Divine Feminine, as you have. May not seem like it. There could have been definitely a loss, a reversal of fortune. Because it came out in the reverse. So somebody is not in their spiritual occupation. Divine Feminines, this could be some of y'all too. And some of y'all could be experiencing bad health as well. Male or female. There's a child here too. What else, Holy Spirit? Y'all know I cuss and I talk shit in my videos, so if this offends you, it's time to go. Yeah, somebody has um, maybe needing some help, getting some money to move, but it's a one-time thing because 29 is 9, and that's the endings, and this is a part of their journey. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, somebody's reputation could be questioned. Yeah. We have um, adjudication here. And this is for your official person. 
All right, Holy Spirit. Tell me about this karmic relationship. Why is the occupation card here? For the divine feminines, male or female. Some of you, your divine masculines are in feminine energy. They're getting their asses handed to them. Yeah. This person could be watching you while you're doing your glow up tour. They could want to come in and have coffee. Somebody here is a coffee drinker. Or you deal with somebody that's a coffee drinker. Your divine masculine could be one. Somebody here for all your toil and labor. They want to give you an engagement ring. They have unconditional love for you. They've been thinking about giving you an engagement ring. That's too many, Spirit. I ain't taking all of them. Yeah. Grim Reaper came and got this relationship. There's no more second chances on it. For some of you, this is with your uh, divine masculine, too, because he's a karmic masculine. Tell me about the change card, Spirit. Why is the change card here? There's a completion of a cycle. Some of you could be moving. You could be in a situation where you're frustrated. It's not enough. You could be frustrated in a relationship. This could be a love relationship, or this could be with family. Um, somebody here is lacking confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. This could be your divine counterpart, or this could be you. Somebody here, this situation was bittersweet. It was a lesson. And I'm picking up it was a hell of a lesson, too. Tell me about the false person, Spirit. They're only here for money. Somebody was sending somebody love messages here in order to get this person for money. Somebody here kept uh, thinking over and over about something that was outdated. They needed to change their thought process about how they thought about love. And this could have got them caught up with a false person. Could have got you caught up with a false person, divine feminine, from what I'm understanding. And this person also had multiple people that they were dealing with. Yeah. Somebody here could have lost money because they needed to focus on their self-worth. They might be sitting over this, thinking about this shit while they're drinking a cup of coffee. Tell me about the bad health. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something is bittersweet here regarding somebody's health. Somebody may have gotten an STD because of too much passion. Mm-hmm. They may have taken a risk or a gamble. Tell me about the unexpected income. Why is it here for the divine feminine? Male or female? And this also goes for same sex. Somebody here may have needed a, some money just to even buy a damn cup of coffee. This person is trying to be lighthearted about this situation too. After finding out of a lot of different things where they had to adapt, change, and heal. Somebody could be sitting down mulling all of this over over a cup of coffee or a hot cup of tea. Shit, it don't matter. Somebody is definitely heartbroken. Somebody's integrity could have been fucked over because they had a sexual addiction. Codependency, toxicity, and they're definitely spying on you or you are spying on them. Tell me about adjudication. Somebody is still pissed off. They don't want to hear that shit. Somebody is still pissed off. Yeah, somebody took a risk and it was the wrong thing. They took a risk on a damn karmic relationship. Now they're getting their asses served. Somebody done lost money. Somebody got to have a damn place to stay. They heartbroken. They still stuck with fucking addictions. Shit. Tell me about this official person. For the divine feminine, male or female. Why is he here? Or she. But it's a he. That's what spirit is saying. Yep, they want to have some coffee with you or a drink or something. So they can sit down and talk to you about the shit that they've been through. This is either you, divine feminine, but I feel like this is strongly for your... I want to say that a lot of y'all have crossed over out of your divine feminine energy for some of you into your divine masculine energy. A lot of y'all are focusing on your damn money. You don't want nobody that comes in and does the hammer time shit and self-sabotages relationships on a repetitive basis. You ready to receive what you need in life. And a lot of you are going after it and getting it yourselves, male or female. Y'all have done the crash and burn and rose like the phoenix from the ashes. You ready for something new? You ready for something better? For some of you, love is coming your way. Have patience. All right, Holy Spirit, let's go. Tell me what's going on for the Divine Feminine Collective. 
Some of y'all could be seeing 777. Somebody here has been a liar, a cheater. And it has made you or them or both very guarded, defensive. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It could be a king of pentacles. Somebody that could be married, has children, that has been in a six of pentacles, an unbalanced situation. Some of y'all could be seeing 777. This person has a new start. I have the knight, the knight of pentacles. So this person is moving very slow, very methodical. This person could be extremely strategic. They could have a lot of fears and insecurities. I'm hearing PTSD for somebody. Yeah, somebody definitely has been betrayed in a situation. A lot of mind games, a lot of fuckery. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with a bitch, Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or a bitch made nigga. Yeah, what else, Spirit? Somebody could be in the Four of Wands in a marriage relationship, a, com a commitment could be a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. This could be male or female. Somebody could be seeing 88. Somebody feels stuck and trapped in a situation that's in hella imbalance. And all they do is work to be fucked over. See, didn't I tell y'all 88? Some of y'all could be seeing 888 or your person is seeing 888. Somebody here is money is on their mind and their mind is on their money. I'm feeling strongly divine feminines. A lot of y'all are in your divine masculine energy. You working out money, money situations. What's up underneath this? Yeah, and you gain a wish fulfillment because your ass is taking the fuck off and moving forward. Six of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're getting away from something that was hella imbalanced. Spirit, tell me why this seven of swords is here for the divine feminine collective, male or female. Ooh. That's a lot of shit, spirit. Yeah, somebody may want a passionate new beginning or either they want to just come in and fuck. Some of y'all are celibate too. Yeah, this person betrayed you in love. Could have been a water sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I mean, well, damn, they could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this is a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their chart. This is your divine masculine. So, yeah, some of y'all are definitely still in your divine feminine energy because your divine masculine just showed up. So, that's that clarifies that. Thank you, spirit. And this person was a player, male or female. First card out to be the seven of swords, yeah. But this shit is over. It's an ending to it. You, This player, they blocked. They got to wait because they got delays. They got money problems for their own damn self-deception. Motherfucking liars. Deceivers, Decepticon energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But although they may want a passionate, new, be creative beginning with you, uh, you will not, says Spirit. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. I mean the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Spirit is blocking that ass. Some of y'all could have dealt with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aquarius. Somebody that could be seeing you rise as a star. And this is your fucking destiny. This is fate. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for the Divine Feminine Collective Spirit? Mm-hmm. Some of y'all are using your intuition about this imbalanced person. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer. This person abandoned you, left you out in the cold. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, this person be getting what goes around, comes around, Booski. Yeah, and somebody does not want that love offer from a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, somebody that self-sabotaged this relationship. They were foolish. A lot of y'all took the leap of faith. Some of you could be Aries or you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Aries to be specific. Tell me about the four of wands, spirit. Why is it here? Yeah. Somebody wants to come in and give you the truth about this relationship, this marriage. Something could have gotten exposed or they see you as their happiness. I feel like this is inner childhood wounding, healing from wounding from where somebody here has a sex addiction and a sexually transmitted disease. For being overindulgent, selfish, greedy. It could have been a water sign that could have been hella stubborn about taking any action to communicate or come towards you. 
they now want to come in and give you some childish communication and some level of action. They want to give you a message, but that ass is stuck. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They bring in too much conflict, chaos, and drama. And it's this damn king of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Somebody that's hurt and they need to go sit their ass down and work on love and relationships. Spirit is saying so. You see it? This person's got way too many fucking options. And they treated you like one too. Divine Femmes. Tell me about the King of uh the Queen of Pentacles. Why is she here? Yeah, this person is still indecisive about whether or not they want to come in. Strong earth energy. Some of you could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're indecisive about you, Divine Femmes. You don't even have to be a fire sign. You could just be in the energy of a fire sign, male or female. Somebody that takes action. Somebody that's very attractive, very charming, very charismatic. And this can also be same-sex relationships, fam. I'll never leave y'all out. Woo! Somebody here is stuck and trapped in a marriage that they don't want. Somebody here don't believe in commitment. Could be a Taurus with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that keeps a hell of a lot of secrets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Secrets about a soulmate from their past or a past life connection. This person could also secretly want to reconcile and they may want union with you. But a lot of you gain truth and clarity about this reckless ass person and cut them the hell out. That's what you did. Because this person is, they don't believe in commitment. Taurus energy. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Why is it here for the Divine Feminine, male or female spirit? Yeah, judgment got called on that ass. Somebody here may want to come in and reconciliate, but some of y'all got this fucker blocked. This person needs to go sit their ass down and go temper balance and heal something. A heartbreak is what they need to work on. Somebody here had choices and they were unfaithful. And there's that Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. They brought nothing but burdens to your life. And they were cold, emotionally unavailable and detached. Foolish. And they held back. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles spirit. Yeah, a lot of y'all are focused on your money. This person could be money motivated too. They could be sitting out there watching y'all all nice looking shiny and bright. Gaining truth and clarity now about who you truly are. After being secretive, keeping things to themselves about they were involved with a whole nother soulmate. Somebody that they were in a marriage or commitment with and the shit was toxic as hell. And now because of their reckless actions... The tower done came in and towed that ass up. And now they got to walk away due to walk of shame for being in a third party. Some of y'all are open marriage, uh, open relationship. There's a lot of regrets and a lot of heartbreak here. This person is carrying a lot of guilt. And it could be a water sign or somebody that's highly emotional and good at hiding their feelings where love and commitments are concerned. And spirit wants them to see something from a higher perspective. Introspection about all these so-called options that they had. That left them wounded and hurt all the time. And they need to go work on getting stuck and trapped out of their head. Some of them could be stuck in a situation where all they do is work, work, work and give their money away. And there's nothing but chaos, conflict and drama for this king of pentacles. Male or female. They could be married to this person too. Alright spirit, give me the deal. Why is the seven of swords on top of the seven of swords? For the Divine Feminine. Told you. Ending. Somebody had to ask this shit. Break up. Separation. In order for them to go start ascending. They gave somebody. They gave you the silent treatment. They might be getting a silent treatment now. Because this fucker got stabbed in the back. For the shit that they did. Heartbreak. Pain. This person likes to get around. And likes to date multiple people. Tell me about the High Priestess. And the. Yeah. Yeah. This person is trying to send an SOS out that they got unconditional love for you. And they're trying to receive what they need by come messing with you. 
No, not today, Spirit said. You can't have her or him. Tell me about the Five of Swords and the Page of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, there ain't no more love here. After they gave you a reflection of what you needed to go work on and heal, you did that. You realized you were dealing with a self-absorbed narcissist. Tell me about the Four of Wands and the uh, Sword of Truth. Why is it here for my Divine Feminines? Yeah, somebody wants to come in and give you the truth. They want to call you and tell you how much they love you, how sorry they are. How sorry that they seduced all these other multiple people and kept up third parties. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles and the Two of um, Pentacles, please, Spirit. Karmic relationship. There you go. Back and forth. While they sitting back, sitting there looking at your pictures, thinking about you, wanting to make new memories. Tell me about the Eight of Swords and the Hierophant in the reverse. Something did not work for this person. A marriage, a contract. They're getting out of it because it ain't working for them. And they feel stuck and trapped. They got unconditional love for you too. They sending you kisses. All kinds of shit. Yeah. This person thought this relationship was going to bring them exactly what they want. Paradise. Maybe in the beginning it did. Now it all it brings them is heartbreak because it's an ending here. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles and the uh, Nine of Pentacles spirit. Mm-hmm. They like you and they want this relationship to pick up. But this person is still heartbroken. Some of y'all could still be heartbroken too. Spirit, give me one message. Yeah, career and finances are an issue as well. Some of y'all retreated so you can focus on your uh, finances as well to lick your wounds. Give me one card that best represents what's needed here for the Divine Feminine Collective Spirit. Thank you. You're not waiting. You don't feel like this person is worth waiting for. Case closed. Love yourself first. That's a big message. Thank you, Spirit. And you are seeing the situation accurately. Spirit, give me one card that best describes what message is needed from the Ascended Masters for the Divine Feminine Collective, male or female. One card, Spirit. Balance home life and career. Thank you, Spirit. Let it go, Quan Yin says. <laughs> and go pray and meditate. Work on loving yourself. Give me one from the Archangels. Well, damn. All my cards just want to take a trip. Somebody might somebody trying to take a trip. Moon cycles. And we just had a new moon. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. I hope you did, family. And relationship harmony. Archangel Raguel, we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Thank you, Father. Some of y'all y'all tried to go the distance on this relationship and it wasn't meant for you to. You needed to focus and have discipline. Now you focus on going the distance on creating your stability, your abundance. What messages, spirit, do you have from the wisdom of the oracle? Yes, this was your soulmate, but this soulmate is very conflicted. And they are watching you. Give me one spirit from the soul's oracle journey deck. I'm going to pull that one. Humor. A lot of y'all are choosing to focus on the lighter side of life. If you haven't, you need to. Self-esteem, that's why they said love yourself first. I possess the gift of the soul that benefits me and others. Can I have one more spirit from this particular deck? Thank you. Acceptance. A lot of y'all need to accept that I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. And it gives you freedom. Freedom. I possess the power and the free will to, re to create my own happiness. Yep, peaceful resolution is here. Can I get one from the love, from the angel answers oracle deck spirit? Thank you. Ask help and support from others. Listen to your intuition. 
Give me one spirit from the the sacred geometry of relationships. Strength. Some of y'all could be dealing with Leos. The frequency of strength supports our ability to harmonize all of our qualities and skills towards a strong and balanced way of being. Transformation is here. So your divine masculine could be going through a transformation as well. Ooh, some of y'all got money coming, but you're going to spend it. Somebody here may have uh, reads tea leaves. What messages do you have for the collective spirit? Candle magic. Somebody here might be doing candle magic to gain illumination, clarity. Fortune cookie is here too. So something here fortuitous, you may find uh, something actually inside of a fortune cookie or you may um, just run across something where somebody is going to give you some uh, good information. Thank you. Some of you, your divine counterpart has lost faith. And they need to regain it. Spirit, give me one message from the lover's oracle. Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So let spirit take care of this. And you have a secret admirer. Divine Feminine, someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. Beautiful. Anything else, Spirit? Yeah, let me give y'all a crystal so we can keep it pushing. Give me one crystal for the Divine Feminine Collective, Spirit. They gave me two or three. All right. You can screenshot these for yourself. Green Calcite. Look them up. Techite. And Moldavite. All right, family. This has been the reading for the Divine Feminine Male or Female Collective. Please write, please like, comment, and subscribe and share with your family, friends, and coworkers. You can find me as Ascended Twin 144K on IG, Nikita Kelly Ascended Twin on Facebook, and here on YouTube as Ascended Twin 144K. I love you, Soul Tribe. Y'all stay blessed. Peace.